Good evening, everyone, and uh, thanks for having me today. So I'm really excited um, and delighted to uh, present um, today uh, what we've gone working uh, since, uh, since a long time with, uh, with CloudWatch team. So um, first of all, CloudWatch logs insight. Um, we, we'd like to see how to collect data, how to correlate them, how to make sure that we can maintain at Gemalto the security posture uh, to collect um, the most valuable insight and to make sure that we can uh, respond in, in better and faster way from a security standpoint. Um, as you mentioned, I'm Ludovic Tressol. I'm the head of public class for G the, the Gemalto company. Um, I'm leading the security operation engineering team. Uh, I'm the lucky guy uh, handling the 24-7 uh, the as well. Um, but first of all, um, I, I'd like to tell you a bit about uh, Gemalto. Uh, where we are today and what we are working on. Um, first of all, um, Gemalto is, um, is a security company. Um, we are really working on a six main market. Those six main markets, um, we, are, we have differentiator. So first of all, the banking and payment market. Um, we are delivering NFC banking card or banking card traditional one. Um, we are having as well tokenization services. Um, when making sure about, um, um, we are ensuring the, the tokenization across like Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, uh, we are on a critical uh, path of, the, of this chain, software monetization, IP licensing, and, and software protection. On the enterprise security, um, I think there is something that you all know, uh, we, and, and in that particular case, AWS is our customer. Uh, we are delivering the hardware token, the ID Prof, the small one that helps you to um, uh, ensure the protection of the, uh, uh, the access for the console and the API accesses as well. Um, we are delivering a broad range of HSM, general purpose and payment HSM. On the mobile side, we are um, um, SIM card, the um, SIM card manufacturer. We are delivering SIM card and embedded SIM card, machine to machine module. The government business unit is delivering the biometric passport and obviously uh, we are um, delivering as well IoT um, uh, connected car. Um, I mean, we are participating to deliver the connected car and obviously we are part of the smart home and the smart city uh, consortium. There is something interesting uh, in that kind of um, uh, presentation is that within Chimalto, um, we are really working on different kind of use cases. And one of the first use cases that we're working on is the security part. When we are dealing with security, I mean, when it comes to security, we all know that we may have incidents in the end. Uh, and when we have incident, um, you all know that when we're making a security incident investigation, it can be long and sometimes complex. Long because um, we need to figure out who is guilty. Is that intentional, unintentional, when it had been done, what had been done. And this is something which is challenging. Uh, to make sure about that security incident investigation, we have different log source. We have many formats, many logs. Time consuming because um, doing investigation is really requiring a lot of different activities. Um, identifying, obviously, uh, who have done what, and obviously, make sure about um, um, remediating, recovering, the, uh, or, 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 or preserving the evidences. We need, obviously, and this is the most important part, collect the data and report the data. So I'd like to introduce one thing, is that the security team right now have worked on a different kind of architecture, and this is the one that they come out, and thanks to uh, CloudWatch Logs Insight, um, we've been able to collect and automate the collection of all the data uh, from a security standpoint across different kind of logs. As you was mentioning, CloudWatch logs, uh, Lambda's logs, we were as well working with VPC flow logs and, and, and DNS logs as well. So basically, uh, I will talk about a short story. Um, the first story is that um, did you ever know what is the first security incident that any kind of cloud security team is facing when they are starting on public clouds? Did anyone know that? A three public bucket uh, is something that is commonly, uh, let's say, seen in a security field. So basically, I will take it and, and show you how it had been architected and how make sure we can collect all the information and what we have, uh, on, on which kind of example we have worked on. So first of all, um, we have a bunch of internal tooling and obviously AWS tooling um, that, that can detect that, for instance, a bucket had been put in public. Um, security findings is raised, and we have a mechanism that makes, um, um, let's say, a different kind of workflow. In that particular case, we're using a step functions. 
um, which is obviously uh, triggering different kinds of lambda. We are using that glue to perform uh, a bunch of notification, so notifying to Slack, to ServiceNow, and then obviously after we are making sure about the remediation. Uh, this is done automatically, but that's not the main and uh, important point. The main important point is that at this stage, we are able to collect for security analysts automatically, and thanks to CloudWatch Log Insight, all the information. Because we wanted to make sure about what had been done, who have done that, and obviously, we, we, we can obviously make additional um, um, investigation and additional actions. The last point is that obviously, we are updating the, uh, the incident. And I'd like to show you uh, a bit of use case that we, we were doing, um, and this is practical use cases using CloudWatch Logs Insight. So first of all, when we are doing security investigation, we need obviously to know uh, what are the, the, the system user behavior, okay? We are relying on Gmalto, on AWS System Manager, Session Manager, quite complex to pronunciate uh, for a French guy. Um, so uh, this is the newly announced um, uh, SSS and RDP uh, connection to EC2 instances, and they are draining logs, and they are draining CloudWatch logs. This, when you, uh, when you wanted to assess what is the system user behavior, you can easily do a query using Insight, and this is my favorite, uh, my favorite command, is the parse command, because you can do whatever you want inside. So we are searching exactly what are all the Unix command or all the Windows command that the, 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 the attacker or, or uh, even the unintentional uh, engineers have made to make sure that there is no like uh, escalation, privilege escalation, or e uh, even uh, no kind of hacking. There is one additional point that is extremely interesting, is that the part command, we are mixing it with ephemeral field. Ephemeral field, uh, I don't remember if GR have uh, talked about it. This is an extremely powerful uh, feature because you can uh, put the result of any kind of uh, information in that, uh, in that field and we use the ephemeral field later on in the, uh, in the query uh, to filter or to make statistics on it. The second, uh, second use cases is really to correlate and, and use uh, uh, network evidences. So first of all, we will work with uh, Amazon uh, VPC flow logs and we'll work obviously with uh, Route 53 logs. And there is one thing which is extremely useful for security analysts is to make statistics. Just to understand globally what is the activity and we are obviously using the stat command and we are using time, bu time bucket. Using the time bucket, we are gathering all the activity, all the stat command output in a given time. For instance, we have taken, you know, we will see uh, four hours in a given time for the next, uh, on the next um, uh, Cloud Bojo try example. The next one is really the, the API activity. How to quickly scope AWS API activity? So uh, we are using, obviously, to find out uh, what has been done and when. We are using Cloud, uh, cloud Trail logs. So we are relying on the JSON field with dot notation, which is an extremely powerful feature from CloudWatch Logs Insign. Let's see it in action. So those are a bit more simple than what we are doing, but that's exactly the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the ID. And we are obviously not doing through the console. Uh, we, are automated, we have uh, fully automated uh, the, uh, uh, the queries uh, using the, the Botocore SDK. So basically what you're seeing uh, on the screen is that we have a different kind of fields. So we have the time, the region, we wanna see uh, obviously uh, the, the name, uh, the, the principal ID of the, of the user, and we are uh, putting the bucket name. When there is a security incident finding, we were receiving from, for, from our uh, security tooling what was the bucket that was put in public. So obviously uh, we are reusing the bucket name and putting it in the query. And we want to see as well what is the kind of permission. In that particular case, we are, we are putting the full permission just to make sure that it was uh, the bucket being, uh, being open and public. And we are pu putting the uh, put bucket as ACL um, because yeah, that, that is the event. The query of that result is quite, is quite simple. We have the timestamp, so we have the when, and this is extremely in interesting for security analysts. We have the when, we have the what as well. So, here, here is the, the user that have been uh, performing the, uh, uh, the, um, the um, let's say, the faulty, uh, the faulty uh, put bucket ACL, and we have obviously the, the, the F3 buckets. So there is one thing which is extremely interesting is that in all of our automation, we are reusing the outcome of the query to, uh, to create another kind of query. If you remember, we were having obviously the, the bucket name, and now we have the, the, the name of the user. So we are re-injecting those two information inside a, new, uh, inside a new request, 
and we wanted to see uh, what are all the other activities that the user have, have been performing uh, uh, on the bucket. So um, at the top of the bucket, you see that for, uh, we want to do a statistics, and we are obviously, we are making a time bucket. So every four hours, we will uh, put the outcome of the, the statistic count for every, um, let's say, uh, bucket of four hours. Then after, we are filtering, obviously, on the A3, uh, A3 components. And uh, we are re-injecting uh, the, uh, the bucket name, and we are re-injecting the, the username. So the result is quite simple, is that we have all the actions, and uh, let's say that uh, globally it shows the, the number of activity that the user has been performing on, on that kind of bucket. Obviously, you can uh, really combine uh, many, many things. So, so here we have just filter on every bucket, but you can filter like on EC2, on plenty of other services, just to see if the, if the user was not uh, playing with other kind of components as, as soon as obviously you have the, the username. So now let me just uh, um, uh, give you a few feedbacks about uh, our testing. First of all, um, we were really loving the query builder. The query builder is really something that is easy to use. We were performing all the queries were initially performed inside the, uh, the console, and then after we are just taking it and putting it in the, in the Lambda functions. Uh, there is an extremely powerful feature as well, which is the automatic field detection. Extremely interesting for Cloud uh, CloudTrail, for instance, all the JSON uh, um, all the JSON-based uh, uh, logs. Um, obviously, we are generating, I mean, a few dashboard, and the timeline dashboard is quite interesting because it helps the security analyst to quickly focus on where, where there were activities. When you are, for instance, making a statistics on networks, uh, you quickly show um, on, uh, at which kind of time, if this is something that is uh, occurring every night, if this is something that is uh, recurring like every week, etc. It really helps to show up quickly wh where is the uh, where is the issue, uh, and and it helps uh, a lot the security uh, analyst. One thing that we love as well is that this is fully integrated. You have plenty of choices to uh, to perform, let's say, log analytics, and um, Gemalto is really having a cloud native approach. So. Um, we, we do love several things. First of all, I really do love that the fact that when this is integrated, uh, we can manage uh, IAM permissioning directly uh, within uh, AWS. There is no need to have a separate IAM, uh, let's say, um, uh, in the identity and access management, uh, even though uh, we don't have to patch it, everything is fully managed. The great thing as well is, is that it brings the two worlds, I mean, the management and the analytics. Um, and there is no log shipping latency. Everything is done in the AWS backbone, which is really an added value compared to, uh, to ship the logs like in, in an outbound server on, on a SaaS distribution, for instance, that you can see with third-party uh, tooling. One last thing which is interesting is that you may have different way of doing the, um, um, I, I would say, of doing the request. You can streamline the request like using Kinesis and Analytics, for instance, but you will most probably have an impact on the cost. The, the things that we, we love in case of forensic is that when we have an issue, this is really an on-demand request. We only perform the on-demand request on an hour, on a day. It depends really the case. And this is really uh, something that is cost effective from a, from a security point of view as well. And one thing which, was, uh, which is now is, uh, extremely interesting is that it saves hours for all of the security analysts in terms of, of uh, log drilling. Um, Let's say that a few months ago, security analysts were spending, I mean, for, for, for a week of investigation sometimes. Um, <coughs> now we have replayed the kind of use case. They, they, they are like having a, um, um, a 30 or two to 40 minutes uh, drilling down the, uh, all the logs and all the information that are computed by, uh, by uh, CloudWatch Logs uh, Insight. So this is really uh, an, effective, uh, an effective way of, of doing log analytics, and especially on the security world, when you need to react as much, uh, I mean, as fast as possible. A uh, few last points about what are, the, what are the next points for us for, for CloudWatch logs. So first of all, we are planning to refine all the security queries that we have and to inject as well few queries in, in our operation to troubleshoot the network, to troubleshoot the uh, DNS part as well. Um, we are planning to enhance a lot the visibility. As I said, we may have sometimes the, uh, the outcomes of the logs, which might be fine in, in few cases, but sometimes, as I say, to have just a graph helps really the security analyst to focus quickly on uh, where is the problem and when was occurring the problem. There is no need to go through thousand lines of, of logs just to figure out uh, where is the problem and when it was the problem. And the last point is that um, um, we have started to work on infrastructure. First of all, our first, uh, uh, let's say, uh, log query was based on CloudWatch Trail, uh, sorry, CloudTrail Logs, uh, CloudWatch 
uh, we were having a, a bunch of uh, VPC flow logs and DNS, uh, and DNS logs. Um, obviously, when you have a security incident, it, it's extremely rare that it's only on, uh, only on infrastructure or only on application. Most of the time, there are co correlation in between infrastructure and application. So what we, have, uh, what we are currently working on is that we are working on with, obviously, the infrastructure log, but as well with the application logs to make sure that it brings more, more insight and more valuable information so that we will be able to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, um, to answer better. One last point uh, for me to, uh, to conclude is CloudWatch Log is really bringing an infinite uh, possibility, an infinite combination. And there is one fun thing is that, by the, uh, by the way, uh, this is uh, that we are just at the beginning of our story for, uh, to, to work with uh, Cloud, uh, CloudWatch Log Insight. Thank you very much.